All right, Trixie. Trixie? I'll do it! I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out! That's great! I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows but up... we gotta do it my way. Huh? Okay. I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Paula Maid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. What do you need? Only, I need a few props. Why like... am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. Get something that looks like a diamond for Trixie's performance. Well, I've got a- I have a photo album. I brought Emmett's photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. How about <laughs> the furs and the but diamonds? Edna is. I'll get him to you. Okay, the furs and the diamond. Ooh, caveman. Caveman the furs. Fur. donated by Lamont's House of Ermine. At least they're going to a good cause. It's time to steal more things. They're stuck tight in this tar. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier, like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. Mm. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban, reminding you, fur is forever. Volcano. That volcano looks a lot like the one I did for my 7th grade science fair. <laughs> dinosaur. Maybe when Real Doc comes back, we'll take a trip to see a dinosaur. We did in the ride. Diorama. Press button to experience Hill Valley's primeval past. Okay, if this dinosaur is called a Tannosaurus, I'm gonna... Oh, <laughs> whew. <laughs> Tannosaurus. His great, 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 great ancestor. You heard it here, folks. Biff Tannen is descended from the prehistoric dinosaurs. That wouldn't be too far-fetched, I don't think. Alright, so we need to get something to remove the tar off of that... Maybe the cleanser. We'll be able to remove the tar. Emmett's formula. Still as good as new. Never know when I might need to get some sticky, sticky substances, substances out of some clothes. Exactly. Sticky substances. That's why they didn't want us to... That's why they wouldn't let you... That's why the red the light is there. It's a mechanic. Because if you had Doc take it back in time to make... To turn the cleanser into a dissolver of clothes, that's it. You wouldn't be, you'd be stuck because you wouldn't be able to use it on the fur. So they're forcing you to do it in this order. I know what you're doing, Telltale. You have to do this part first, while the cleanser is still a cleanser. It's a good thing I did this before I'm its 12 hour time limit. Right. The cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Exactly. Thank you for explaining the exact same thing I just said. Th that, um, Let's slip out of those telltale. furs, shall we? Now I need something that looks like a diamond. Diamond, diamond. Artie, do you have anything that looks like a diamond? Hi, Grandpa. Oh, the ring. The ring that um that Emmett had. That's all for now. Over and out. Unless cue ball has something. Cue ball. Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's back. You still cheesed off at Trixie? Yeah, but I'm more cheesed off at whoever got her fired. Oh, oh that would be Edna. Stay out of trouble, cue ball. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Maybe I have to go back to Emmett's lab and get the ring. Steal his ring, too. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. They've been talking I've for a while. I've got neutralized for the moment. 
How's the plan proceeding on your end? I swiped this from Emmett's, your lab. My it's anti -stick, a anti-stick, anti-stain formula. I remember it well. I had high hopes for that concoction until I discovered that it decays into a cloth shredding enzyme after 12 hours. Right. That's what your younger self said. Is it true that you only had eyes for Edna? At that time, I'm afraid so. I always tended to idealize the opposite sex. I was educated in a boy's school. And well, that's very classy I was always a little sketchy with female characters. That's, that's classy. You ever got you. time for a therapy session, Doc? I mean, because, because of course, I I think that that Marty appreciates, you know, fidelity as opposed to infidelity. Edna made a point of saying that teenage you look great in her grandfather's suit. I uh, I did cut a fine figure in that suit. <laughs> she hated it when I got it dirty. Maybe I could talk teenage you into losing the suit. I doubt it. I knew how much that suit meant to Edna, and at that time, my only desire was to please her. Yeah, his her poor late grandpa's suit. You know how that mental alignment meter of yours pegged you as a model citizen? Well, wait till you- Stop! You're gonna tell me about one of your schemes to make Edna break up with me, aren't you? Yeah, see, Edna thinks- I don't want to hear it! I know it's in the service of a good cause, but I still can't bear to know the details of my but younger self's it? impending heartache. But it doesn't affect your younger self. It will, I can understand it if it was the other way around. If you told your younger self stuff, then that would affect your older self. But when you tell your older self, that doesn't really affect your younger self. But whatever. Whatever, Doc. Horrible news, Doc. Emmett's gonna ask Edna to marry him tonight. But that's not how it happened. She didn't get me to propose until much later, that night at the lake. Yeah, Something I said must have caused him to move up the timetable. Great Scott! This time travel business is trickier than I imagined. Anyway, Doc. Um. It's about Edna. Don't worry. She's not going anywhere right now. What are you That's talking good, about? But... You've been talking for hours. Have you found out anything that can help me? Only that she's stubborn, argumentative, and completely convinced of her own moral superiority. Just Great, like thanks, Doc. Her. That really helps. Yeah, yeah, what are you guys talking about? What are you about? two talking about, anyway? It's a private matter. I promised I'd keep it between us, for the present. What are you... Oh, are you scheming about something, Doc? She isn't starting to get under your skin, is she? Heavens no. The memory of her older self wheeling me into the reconditioning chamber is just too strong. Good. The younger version is decidedly more attractive, though. On another subject... Less distasteful, I hope. I don't even know if the light's green yet. Apparently the game knew it before Marty did. Hey, the light's green. Yeah, that means I... Doc could take the DeLorean out again. You know why it turned green? Because we, we used... The, we stole the mink. We stole the mink stole. That's why. If Jen and I ever strike it big, we're never wrapping these things around our necks. Yeah, that's really creepy looking. Really creepy looking. Okay. I see. Well, you certainly do know a lot about me, Mr. Sagan. From one investigative reporter to another, Miss Strickland? One might question your motives, but one can't help admiring your method. I need to talk to you. Excuse me. Yes? The light screen. About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the systems check out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short end, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. But the guy's... Oh, and the guy isn't going to tell him to not drive off? Really? Okay. Fine. The guy doesn't isn't going to yell at him? When did you land this time? 12 hours ago. 9 hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Frankly, it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Mm. Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests, and we'll see what we find. 
convenient. Take. Convince Edna that he's a slob. Cleanser spray bottle. Is it? Doc's trip aged the formula a few hours. Not enough to turn it to acid, though. Yeah, I need a few more hours. Doc, you think you can, uh... I need to talk to you. Excuse me. Mr. Sagan, take your... Much of luck. Yes? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, what am I supposed to look for again? A signal that it's done evaluating the time circuits. The analysis can take a while. Be sure to let me know when the light turns green, and I'll take her out for another test run. Okay. So it's not green yet. Nope, no green light yet. That means I have to advance the story somehow. All right, I need to... Maybe there's a diamond in... With Emmett. How's it hanging, Emmett? No, 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 no time for small talk. I've got machines to tune and mind maps to sort. Where's that ring? Where do you put the ring? Generator. Easel. Stew pot. Record player. Fish tank. Nothing that looks like a diamond ring. Stack of maps. Printer, record player. Fish tank. Huh. Can Damn I it? take a look at the yeah. ring? You can't marry Edna. Why not? Yeah, you're too young. You're too young to get married. Nonsense. Back in the old country, a man my age already have two kids and a farm. Well, yeah. Besides, what's the use of waiting when you're in love? Oh, boy. I just don't think Edna will make you happy in the long run. Well, she makes me happy now, and that's what counts. And okay. as for the future, well, the future isn't written yet. Well... You better hope it isn't. There's someone better out there. Trust me. I know you mean well, but look at me. I'm an awkward teenager with poor social skills and a predilection for prattling on about obscure scientific minutia. Frankly, it's a miracle that one woman has found me desirable. It could be decades before another one comes along. That is true. Decades. I mean, he's got you there, Marty. Uh, let's just drop it. Fine. We need to find that diamond ring. Or a diamond of some sort. Where am I gonna find a diamond? Well, let's give Trixie her mink. Wait, diorama. Trixie. Hey, Trixie. Are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but uh, they'll work. Now bring me that diamond, and we'll be in business. Do you have an idea of where I can get a diamond? Hi, Trix. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, well it would be fun to watch, but <laughs> it wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? I'm working on it. Now bring me that diamond and we'll be in business. Okay. I don't suppose the guy has anything about a diamond, does he? Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not tonight. All right. I'm not seeing anything else that I can do. Diamond, 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 diamond. I might need a hint, Telltale. Now I need a hint. Now you can give me your hint. Trixie's plan to make Edna jealous requires a phony diamond, some furs, and a baby picture of Emmett. There's a diamond-shaped object somewhere in front of the high school. In front of the high school. Cue ball. Diamond shaped object. On the truck? It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, 
I hope I still have a truck back in 86. In front of the... What looks like a diamond in front of the high school. Arthur. What looks like a diamond. DeLorean. And you're firm in your intentions? I am. Then that's that. And yet, I can't help feeling I can talk to you. Interesting. I think he's trying to get... Maybe Doc is trying to set her up to have a better life after she breaks up with Emmett. That is something that Doc would do to make sure that Edna maybe will be not so much of a sourpuss when she grows up, when she gets older. Because that would be pretty awesome. I'm guessing that's what he's going to do. Cars of the Future tent. Ooh. I Come see agreed. the Cars of the Future. Brought to you by Statler DeSoto. Okay, I thought maybe I was buying a diamond something there. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I clicked on the street. I'm back, and, it mean and I'm busy. Make yourself at home. Exit. Volcano. Is there maybe there's something in the volcano? Um what else? What else looks like a diamond truck? I don't see anything. Can I go in the front door? Yeah! When does the expo I need another hint. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's not the one that I want to... Here, I have to talk to Trixie. Hi, Trix. So... Nope. That's not the one that... Vince, Edna... No, I'm trying to do the diamond thing. Put the guns in DeLorean and tells it is red time for the test. Yeah, I know that. I know that one. I'm trying to get... I need to get how about a different puzzle. Different puzzle. Cue ball. Anything else? Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's... What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other. It's all Greek to me. Can I check the back Stay of the truck? Stay out of trouble, Cuba. That's what I'm... Maybe something in the truck? I'm, I'm like, there's got to be something in the truck that he's hauling. How about the boxes? No? No oh, game. Come on, game. Still not green, hey, right? The light's green. Oh, the light is green. Okay. Because if I clear out this, if I clear out this, then I should be able to get the other hint. Hey, Carl. I'm Carl. The light's green. Your chronometer's gone green again. Excellent. Let's hope this time my test run is a success. I'm sorry to desert you again. Yes, well. You've left me with plenty to think about. And once again, the guard is not going to say anything. The guy is not going to say anything. Oh, and slow down, right? Yeah, any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time was off again. By how much? Eight hours this time. Gave me the chance to take in three showings <laughs> of Frankenstein. <laughs> Good movie. Showings. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. But what about the DeLorean? Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace them with titanium. So now I have to Great. find titanium? Now, unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available till the coal process is perfected in nine years. So what Nine now? years? 
But there may be another solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm stalling it, then you can... Uh-oh. Where did it go? Great. The lab! You better get down there before she makes the situation impossible. I'll tend to the DeLorean. Great. That's what I need. Age to perfection. Yep. Hey, Emmett, I'm back. Oh, gosh. Oh. <clears throat> oh, my. PDA, PDA. You know, I you thought need to be arrested. you were coming down here to keep Emmett focused on his invention. No, oh, she is. But she's generously scheduled brief canoodling breaks every 45 minutes to keep my mind fresh. Mm. Time's up, dear. Let's get back to work. Shall we? Now, Mr. Callahan, what can I do for you? Can I go into the lab for a bit? I think I left something in there. Sorry, but I'm afraid the lab is off limits until Emmett's finished tuning the mental alignment meter. But... No exceptions. Mr. Sagan says he needs to talk to you back at the high school. He does? Whatever for? Uh... Lead on the speakeasy arsenic. He says arson. he's got a lead on the speakeasy arsenic. Which is, which he, he does, is. does he? Well, I'm not sure anyone cares about that old story anymore. But I suppose I could spare a few minutes in the service of solving a crime. Mm -hmm. Will you be all right without me, sweetheart? It'll be tough, but I think I'll muddle through. Try to keep him focused. He's so easily distracted. Yeah, I know. Don't I wish. Spray bottle, cleanser shower. That doesn't need to be sprayed by fabric destroying enzymes. But this does. Sorry, Emmett. Sorry, Edna's grandpa. Hmm. There it is. I've been looking all over for my portable anti stick anti stain formula. Where'd you find it? Um, out by the trash? That's strange. I haven't been out there for hours. Oh well. Are you gonna spray your jacket? It's looking a little dusty. Not until it's really dirty. This cleanser doesn't grow on trees, you know. Well, some of the ingredients grow on trees, but the rest are synthesized polycarbonate really detergent dirty? blends. I can do that. I'll wait until you're at the expo to show Edna what a suit-destroying slob you can be. Now all I have to do is set up Edna to think that Emmett's fooling around on her, and everything will be ready to go. Alright, I need hints. Because I can't find the ring. There's a diamond-shaped object in high school. Impatience is a virtue in attempting to get the phony diamond. Impatience is a virtue? Impatience? I have to pr keep prodding. Oh! Impatience? That means I have to go bother the guy? Hold on. Party! Duck! What's all the hustle and bustle? It's almost time for the opening ceremony. I know. Holy jeez, I, I better work fast. I think I got it all worked out. When it all comes together, Edna will think you're the worst guy in town. I just need a couple more pieces. Well, don't go to too much trouble. What's going what on, What do you mean? Doc? Oh! You thought of an easier way to break them up? Not exactly. You see... I've been mulling things over. Oh no, are you getting second thoughts? Uh, in the timeline you're from... The right timeline? Oh no. Yes, yes, uh, I've got a wife. A great wife! Clara, and kids, and a dog, and a bitch in time train, and... And Edna? How does her story turn out? I know. How, how does she end up? That's what we have to figure out, so that we can oh, fix it. Oh, well, Edna ends up... Alone. She ends up alone. Um... I can't lie to you, Doc. To be honest, she ends up kinda... sad. Sad? 
She lives with some cats in a dinky little apartment, and uh, she spends most of her time yelling out her window at people and collecting newspapers and I couldn't lie living in the past. I can't lie to Doc about that. So we have to do something about it then. She's not a... She's misguided. I don't think she's Perhaps a... Perhaps we've been going about this problem the wrong way. Do we really have to completely obliterate my timeline so we can restore yours? Doc? Maybe we could have the best of both worlds. I could be with Edna, but it could be a little bit, you know, more healthy. Can you hear yourself? Do you, do you know what you're saying? Let me remind you. She tried to erase your brain. Doc, she tried to erase your brain. Oh, she was terrible. No argument. Horrible. Oh, uh, but she started. She has out the with potential. Such pure intentions. She has the so potential to be better. I don't believe so this. He has All a point, I'm Marty. Is, let's stop and take a breath. This elaborate plan to derail my younger self's love life is the short-term misery worth the long-term gain. Maybe we can find a third way, one where everybody wins. What do you think? Uh. Not okay. No, I can't. Really? I can't agree to any of this. I can't. Not okay. No, I can't. No. I'm sorry, Doc. I can't go along with what you're saying. You don't belong with Edna. So you're determined to break us up, in spite of my stated wishes. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Marty, he is being a bit. And there's nothing left to say. Oh. Where, where are you Doc? going? Why should it matter to you? Aren't you planning on overriding me? I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing that Edna was doing to him. In a way. In a way. There was no way for me to agree to with him, because the story, the plot demanded such. I do feel bad for Edna. There has to be a third way, and I feel like Doc's gonna figure it out, because Marty hasn't been able to. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. Alright. We gotta figure out a way to make everybody win. Or Doc does. Yeah? Hey, guy. When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight! Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! Official business, eh? That notebook belongs to Doc. Grandpa, give me some official business. Hi, Grandpa. Or don't That's give me all for official now. Business. Over and out. Don't give me official business. It's not as nice as my... Cue ball. Give me something. Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's back. Maybe not. Stay out of trouble. That's what I... Impatience is a virtue. Alright. Thought I could, like, break my way through him, but apparently not. Activate the artificial rainbow over the hill valley of the future display while the rainstorm is still running. Really? How would I have been able to figure that out? Diorama. Press button to experience few. And after There's the, the rain, what else? An artificial rainbow, reassuring all the good people of okay, Hill Valley that their needs that are taken care of, and life is sweet. Prism. Just borrowing it. Yeah, I. I Getrix, everything she needs to make. Yeah. 